Welcome to today's edition of Public Health Minute with Bill Latimer. The lifetime rate of substance use disorders in U.S. prisons is roughly 75 percent. Dr. Catherine McCullister, associate professor at the University of Miami, studies addiction in the criminal justice system. Catherine, tell us about your work. One consistent finding in our research is that post-release aftercare programs play a pivotal role in reducing substance use relapse and criminal recidivism among offenders. Many of these programs generate cost savings from reduced criminal offending and more stable employment. What's the next step? There is a need to continue work with ongoing interventions to determine whether clinically effective programs are also cost effective and financially viable for broader implementation. We must also figure out the best way to integrate cost effective post-release treatment and recovery management strategies within existing probation and parole monitoring. Public Health Minute is co-sponsored by the Lehman College School of Health Sciences, Human Services and Nursing at the City University of New York and the University of Florida College of Public Health and Health Professions. I'm Bill Latimer.